Since the last debate, House Democrats have officially launched an impeachment inquiry against President Trump, which all the candidates on this stage support. Senator Warren, I want to start with you. You have said that there's already enough evidence for President Trump to be impeached and removed from office. But the question is, with the election only one year away, why shouldn't it be the voters who determine the president's fate? Because sometimes there are issues that are bigger than politics, and I think that's the case with this impeachment inquiry. When I made the decision to run for president, I certainly didn't think it was going to be about impeachment. But when the Mueller report came out, I read it, all 442 pages. And when I got to the end, I realized that uh, Mueller had shown to a fare thee well that this president had obstructed justice and done it repeatedly. And so at that moment, I called for opening an impeachment inquiry. Now, that didn't happen, and look what happened as a result. Donald Trump broke the law again in the summer, broke it again this fall. You know, we took a constitutional oath, and that is that no one is above the law, and that includes the President of the United States. Impeachment is the way that we establish that this man will not be permitted to break the law over and over without consequences. This is about Donald Trump, but understand, it's about the next president and the next president and the next president and the future of this country. The Senator, impeachment must go forward. Thank you, Sir Warren. Sir Rakatia Hawa, Rakatia O'Shea, Rakatia Hawa, Rakatia O'Shea, Rakatia Hawa, Rakatia O'Shea. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who wrote a great man's stone. Blessed sanitation to the Akiyams worldwide. We teach you the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. This is Brother Yahweh. We come now, lesson 35, the Bible, the 144,000, the one third men, women, and children, and the, and the Israelites that scattered among these heathens. The so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are God's chosen people. Right? The future of America is total destruction. Right? America going to be destroyed by term and nuclear fire. And also from the chart, say, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, America going to be destroyed. Right? So, this is the future of America. So, all this is all this work that you are doing, you know, so like is in vain because it's already written that America going to be destroyed by term and nuclear missile. Right? <clears throat> so, uh, all your, 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 your um, presidential candidate debate, election, all these things that you are doing is vain, you know? Because the Lord is going to destroy America. Right? The Lord is going to destroy your Edomite empire, which is America, right? And you Edomites be going, in, going into slavery, right? <clears throat> and we get a piece of this is Amos, right? So yeah, the future, the future America is destruction by fire. This is the future America. This is Amos chapter 9 verse 8. He said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai power are upon a sinful kingdom. And America is a sinful kingdom, right? And you eat on my side, the, the border of wickedness, right? And America is your headquarter, right? Let me get a precept. Because I ain't making this up. These are already written, right? This is already written. This is, um, let me get this in Malachi, right? You got the scripture say, You Edomites is the bar of wickedness, right? And this is where wickedness is go full from, you know, with democracy, right? So the Lord's eyes on, a, on this, a sinful kingdom to destroy it from off the face of the earth. So America features is total destruction, Eli, right? <clears throat> uh, let me get this. This is uh, Malachi. Uh, chapter 1 verse 4 it said whereas Edom said Edom is is you Edomites Edom in red you you so-called white people you're red right you lack pigmentation right <clears throat> and there's the mark of the devil use that use a deceiver right you understand the, the Democrat and the Republican they are the same right <clears throat> it said whereas Edom said we are impoverished but we will turn and build a desolate places Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will show them. So the return of Bill and Merkel, so the Lord is going to show them, down, right? He said, and they shall call them the board of wickedness, right? So 
America is the border of wickedness. This is the headquarter for you Edomites. Right? He said, um, the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. So the Lord had war with you Edomites. And he's going to destroy you Edomites. Right? <clears throat> and he's going to destroy your kingdom. So the future America is fire. They're going to be destroyed. All right, this is Amos chapter 9 verse 8 Behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon a sinful kingdom Which is America And I will destroy from off of the face of the earth The most I going to destroy America From off of the face of the earth Saving that I will not utterly destroy The house of Jacob which is the elect The house of Jacob is 144,000 And one third men and children That are going to be delivered Said the Lord Right <clears throat> So This is the future of America so everything that y'all doing the right now is in vain. <coughs> it's in vain, you know. You know, through the spirit and power, y'all bashing y'all shy. This might be the last election before <coughs> everything just hit rock bottom. Economy collapse, race war, famine, martial law, female camp implementing of the RFID microchip, you know, and then these missiles start flying. You understand? <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 13 uh, verse, verse 16 Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes And how they can dash to pieces by those missiles Their house shall be spoiled and their, and their wife ravish Right? The women are going to be raping when all hell break loose When, it, when there's no art out eh? Right? Verse 70 Behold I will stir up the meats against them The meats is Russians most I see to the means against them. Them is America, right? Which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. You can't bribe Russia. You understand? <clears throat> Verse 18 Their bow also shall dash the young men to pieces. Their bow is the ICBM missile, right? He said, Their bow shall dash, dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So children are going to be destroyed, you know, when Russia, China, you know, even the, even even NATO and the EU are going to shoot missile on America. Revelation 17 and 16. They're going to shoot missile on America too. Right? <coughs> Verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdom. America is the glory of kingdom. Right? Babylon means confusion. America is a place of confusion. Right? Day you could worship anything and day you could do anything. You could be a man today and a woman tomorrow. That is confusion, right? He said, And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelling in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch them there, neither shall the shepherd make their fold there. So, you know, the most I can destroy America. You understand? <coughs> America can be destroyed. So this is the future of America. Right? <coughs> right? This is Revelation chapter 18. <coughs> verse 5. Let me start from 4. And I hear another voice from heaven saying, Come out of war, my people. And this is when the child is going to take up the elect. So can you afford it can be beam of the elect that he be not partake of our sins and that he receive none of our plagues? And what's America plagues? Those fire, fires America plague the ICBM missile. That's why these nations building these missiles. It's a shooting America, <coughs> right? He said, For her sins has reached unto the heaven, and the most I remember her iniquity. Reward her even as she reward you, and double unto her double according to her works in the cup. Which she had filled, filled to her double. So you Edomites, you so-called white people, right? You Edomites, the, the progenitor Isa, you are going into slavery, right? And you are going to suffer thousands years in slavery, right? For seven, how much she lived, how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow gave her. For she said in her heart, I sit as a queen. And I'm no widow and shall see no sorrow. So let's, let's, met, let's make America great again. You know, one of the slogan, and how no nation can defeat America. You know, these either might be prideful, they're proud, you know. <clears throat> Verse 8 Therefore shall our plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly buried fire. For strong is the Lord God who judge her. 
So this is how you're gonna be born with fire, and this is the future of America. The future of America is fire. She's gonna be born with fire, right? You see, <clears throat> so like you. You see, and the kings of the earth who have commit for, committed fornication and live deliciously with her. So the kings of the earth, how they commit fornication in America? They leave her from the custom with the father, with the father presented them, and they follow what democracy. Right, that's how they commit fornication with this with, with, with America. Right, they fall, they start following the ways of America. Right, it's and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her. How they live deliciously with her through what you trade in. Right, <clears throat> shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see her smoke, see the smoke of her burning. So they can lament her will because what these nations are not gonna make any more money because America is a, is, a, is one of the biggest consuming nations on the planet. You understand? Right? It's um, <clears throat> uh, verse um, verse ten. Standing for up for fear, and for our torment, saying at last, at last, that great city Babylon. That mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. For one hour your judgment gonna come. And the merchant of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buy, buy their merchandise anymore. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stone and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all <coughs> tiny wood and all manner of vessel of ivory. And all manner of vessel of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odor, and ointment, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, beasts, sheep, horses, and chariots, slave. Who's the slave in America? You so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American. And the soul of men. These jakes who sell out, and who sell the soul, who cast away the integrity. Get a pop in the ass. That's a. That's a Make a Hollywood movie, you understand, right? And so this one out of America, so <clears throat> right. Let me continue, right? He said, um, "Let me jump to verse 15 He said, "A merchant of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for fear, for the torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, at last, at last, that great city, that was clothed in fine linen and purple." and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stone and pearl for in one hour so great riches is come to naught and every ship master and all the and all the company and ship and sailors and uh, and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of our burning america this is your future the smoke of our burning saying what city is like unto this great city? You understand? <clears throat> right? And this, this is the future of America. America is going to be born with fire. Right? And with that, always let's say the fire. And I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who were a great millstone, and the best sanitation to the Akims worldwide. Shalom to the Lord's elect.